Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will go back with our discussion about the parabola. Many students sa YouTube channel and even sa Facebook page natin, they are requesting sir, or they are asking sir, how to find the equation of the parabola given a certain information or parts of parabola at gagawin natin yung equations in standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are given here uh, the direction, use the information below to find the standard equation of the parabola. And right now, we are given two sets of information para mahanap natin yung different equations nila. First, in number one, we are given the focus and directrix. In number two, we are given the vertex and the directrix. Now let us start with number one. So, we have the focus in which the coordinates of the focus are 0, 2, while the equation of their directrix is y is equal to negative 6. Sir, paano ba gawin yan? Or how can we find the equation of the parabola if ganyan lang yung given information? At mahalap yung equation nila. First, you need to know the position or the orientation of the parabola. Mahirap siya kapag in-imagine mo lang so much better if you will draw a Cartesian plane. Second, you need to remember the different standard form of the different orientations of a parabola. Kung siya ba'y pataas, pababa, nag-open sa left or right, dapat alam mo rin yung kanilang standard form. Now let's start with um, the orientation of the parabola in a Cartesian plane. So let's say for example, we are given this Cartesian plane, okay, this, this is our Cartesian plane, and I will plot 0, 2. Ginagawa ko to para mas madali nyo may imagine what I am saying, okay? So we have 0, 2. Yung 0, 2 natin, when we plot that point, it is located at the y-axis, or to be specific, at the outer part of the y-axis. So, ito yung location nga, we have, ito. This is your focus. 0, 2. Nagyan natin F. Focus. Now, after the focus, you need to draw the line if the directrix or the equation of the directrix is y is equal to negative 6. At ito naman, yung ating directrix, since y is equal to negative 6, that is perpendicular to your y-axis, ah, sorry, perpendicular to your y-axis, or in other words, Chai parallel sa yung x-axis. So, sir, paano po yan? Dito siya na uh, We will put here 6 units. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is your negative 6. That's why kapag nag-draw tayo dito ng broken line, this will serve as your directrix. And the equation of your directrix is y is equal to negative 6. Ganyan yung tsura niya. And, meron na tayong clue ngayon, guys. Sir, di pa rin po namin makuha. Remember, if you are having a parabola, as for example, this is your parabola. This is your parabola. Yung focus natin ay nasa loob ng parabola. And, yung dynamics natin ay nandito. Ang nasa gitna nila ay yung ating vertex. This is your vertex. Ngayon, Based sa position, as you can see, ah, based sa position ng ating, ng ating focus at directrix, the parabola opens up. Ganti, niya, ganti yung kanyang opening. Sir, um, paano niyo po nalaman? Sir, madali na naman siya, di ba? Ito yung, open, ito yung up. Kapag down naman, pag ganito siya, yung parabola natin, at dito yung directrix. Kapag left naman yung opening, ganti yung parabola, ganti yung directrix. Kapag naman right yung opening, Ganito yung parabola, nandito yung directrix. So, alam na alam ko na yung parabola natin opens up. So, ngayon, meron tayong idea that the parabola opens upward. So, ngayon, we need to remember ano yung equation na pwede natin magamit. So, anong equation ang dapat natin gamitin? Since the parabola opens up and 
the vertex, for sure the vertex is not at the origin kasi yung vertex natin na nandito banda, we need to use this standard equation. We have x minus h squared is equal to 4c times y minus k. So, ano pong next step natin dito? We need to find the value of c. Again, we need to find the value of c for us to know kasi meron tayong vertex that is your hk. Hanapin din natin yun. First, hanapin muna natin yung vertex natin. Your vertex here is in the middle or between or it is the point between your focus and direct x. Bilangin natin kung gano'ng kahaba yung segment na mabubuo or ilang units yung distance ng focus papunta sa yung direct x. From this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yung iba naman ang ginagawa nila dito para mas mabilis sila, they are adding this 2 plus negative 6. At kung ano yung absolute value, 2 saka 6. Okay, 2 plus 6 is 8. And ayun yung nabilang natin. And divided by 2, kasi nasa gitna yung ating vertex, yung ating directrix, yung ating vertex ay nandito. Nandito yung ating vertex. Because from this point, 1, 2, 3, 4. From this point, 1, 2, 3, 4. Ibig sabihin na sa gitna siya ng ating focus at directrix. Now, meron tayong equation ngayon ng ating vertex. Your vertex is simply 0, comma, negative 2. Ito yung ating vertex. Ang problem na natin ngayon ay yung ating C or yung value ng ating C. By the way guys, yung distance nito is equal to C. Yung distance nitong vertex up to the directrix is equal to C. And we know na 4 units yun. That's why the value of C is equal to 4. Now we have the value of C, which is equal to 4, and your vertex is equal to 0, comma, negative 2. Now, we are ready to substitute those values sa mismong standard equation na meron tayo. If the parabola opens up and the vertex is not at the origin. So substitute natin. Uh, unay natin ito. X minus H. Okay? Yung H natin is 0 squared is equal to 4 times your C, which is 4. So times 4 times Y minus your K, which is negative 2. Negative times negative is positive. So this is plus 2. And simplify na natin itong mga to. Your X minus 0 is simply X squared. This is X squared. Now multiplying 4 times 4, that will give you 16. And then we have Y plus 2. Ibig sabihin niya guys, ito na mismo yung sabot natin. The standard equation of the parabola, given the focus of 0 comma negative 2, with a directrix of y is equal to negative 6, is none other than x squared is equal to 16 times y plus 2. Now let us proceed with item number 2. We are given the vertex of negative 9 comma negative 4 and directrix of y is equal to 3. So let me erase this part para magkaroon tayo ng enough space. Okay? Now, same process, uh, we will draw artisan plane for you to better imagine uh, the parabola and para mas madali tayo makapaghanap ng equation. So, we need to plot your vertex and given this vertex, guys, we know that kapag parehas negative yung coordinates, it is located at the quadrant number 3. Okay, quadrant number 3. So, yung ating vertex ay nandito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then negative 4 sa laba. Yung location niya nandito. Okay? Tapos, yung ating directrix is located at ang kanyang equation ay y is equal to 3. So, dito yun siya. Okay. Ito yung equation ng ating um, 
direct x, y is equal to 3. Ngayon, since the vertex is here, and the direct x is here, meron na tayong clue ngayon agad-agad. Ang clue natin is that the parabola opens downward. Kasi ganito yung tsura ng guys, oh. Maging ganito yan. Nandito yung focus. Ganyan yung maging tsura niya. Ngayon, isipin mo ngayon, if the parabola opens downward at wala yung kanyang vertex sa origin, ano yung standard equation na gagamitin natin? Okay, tama ka. Yung equation natin ay yung variable x na merong x squared. Pero, ganito siya. Since downward yan, we have this equation x squared x minus k ah, sorry, x minus h squared is equal to negative 4c. Kasi po downwards tayo, kaya negative to times y minus k. Ngayon, ang kailangan natin dito is the information about the vertex which is given na. Your vertex is at negative 9 comma negative 4. Tapos, ang kailangan mo na lang ay yung value ng letter C. Again, the value of letter C is the distance between the directrix going to the vertex. So, tandaan natin na nandito tayo eh. Okay? Ang distance niya, bilangin natin, nakatapat to sa negative 4. Papunta sa, sa y is equal to 3 natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ibig sabihin nito guys, the value of your c is equal to 7 units. Nakuha? May meron tayo ngayong 7 units as your c. So we will use these values sa mismong equation natin. So let's try. We have here x minus, di ba minus to? Tapos your h is equal to negative 9. Negative times negative is positive. So this is plus 9 squared. Is equal to negative 4. Negative 4 times c, which is 7. Times your y. Look, this is negative. And your k is negative. So this will become plus 4. All you need to do is to simplify this. And that's it. So this is x plus 9 raised to 2 is equal to negative 28 times y plus 4. Tada! Ito na mismo yung equation natin. If the given information is your vertex, which is negative 4, a negative 9, negative 4, and your directrix is equal to y is equal to 3. I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin. I hope, I know na medyo mahaba yung explanation, but I'm trying to explain it para mas lalo niyo maintindihan how to do it. And sana, you can consider uh, subscribing to my channel. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goin. Maraming maraming salamat. Goodbye!